Okay, so the flesh color on here. Let's see if I can give it some more space. All right, flesh. Um, we're going to mix it in our jar and dip it from the thin layers, the top of the jar, so it's not dipping it out of the wet, soggy stuff and putting it on in a thin layer on top of the red model and the purple model. And these three colors all blend together um, and work together to make a topical layer of skin tones. And when this one is done, we will cook all three layers on and we'll be ready for the next steps on these little guys. I always make it a habit of kind of just gently tapping around the eyes and the nose to capture any thicker layers of paint that might look topical after it's dry. Um, you don't want it to be visible as a top layer then it looks like you should be wiping it off like it's dirty instead of a depth layer. All right, so we're gonna move on to the limbs. Again, this goes on kind of clear looking. You can't really see the color there until it starts to dry. You can only see it through the light reflecting off the spots where the wet doesn't sit. Okay, so I'm only going to do Tully in this um, on the video. I'll catch up, Tol I'm sorry, I'm only going to do Tolliver with this flesh layer. I'll catch up Tully behind the scenes so that I don't take up two hours of video time. Um, and then we'll put them in the oven and bake these layers on and then we'll move on to the next step. I hope that the video can actually show how neat this looks and I'm sure it's probably not showing up as amazing as it looks to my naked eye that it, as it is on the video. Um, videos just can't capture the depth that you can see. I'm not sure zooming in will really capture it either. Maybe it's a, a different lens or something. I don't know. Alright, so this layer is done. I think I'm going to go over a layer on Sheldon with this. I think that will help add to his earthy skin tone. And so I'm going to do a layer on Sheldon, only on his fleshy areas like I did with the purple. This is strange. You really can't see it going on, but you can see it as it starts to dry. only on the fleshy bits that kind of cling to the ground that I am coloring right now. The rest I will color in a secondary video because it's going on a thicker, darker paint. Um, so I only did the blue undertones on him so that you could see the thinnest looking part of the shell. It just makes it create a bit of depth there. 
and he has veins on him just like the other two. You can see some of the veins coming through the paint and making it create that depth. All right, so I'm going to stop the video for now, catch up Tolliver, sorry, Tolly. Um, she still needs her purple and her skin tones. So I'm going to catch her up and then we'll cook them and we'll carry on with the next layers.